Hi everyone, this is Big Benedict. We're on the throne room. This is the second of the three fights versus Lords of Shadows in this game. And this is the queen fight. You're not going to need to top off your magic even though you see me do it right there. Make sure you don't forget to have this. And the trial requirement is that you need to have the queen kill the vampires. There's ten, you'll see that there's a ten count right below the scroll in the upper right. The 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 thing about this trial, like the gremlins in, in an earlier chapter when we were throwing daggers at them, there's only ten of the vampires, so if you ever mess up, you will not have enough. So if you accidentally kill one, you're going to have to restart from the, ch the previous checkpoint. Now, the good thing about the holy water is that it will stun them, so when you see her um, lowering in her, her ball, in her uh, sphere there where she's being protected, use the holy water or use fairies to keep these guys in one place and then stay next to them because you know that she's going to be firing her electricity at you so wherever you are that's that means that if you're located to the vampires uh, it's very likely that the electricity will hit them instead of you if you get like right next to them um, you will take some damage though so this is pretty difficult on paladin mode you see i got damaged right there it's actually preferable to use the holy waters on these guys. I don't think holy water... Like, you see how a couple of these vampires have very low health? I'm still going to throw holy water, but it, it, you see how it, it doesn't kill them. It, it takes away some of their health, but it doesn't outright kill them, which is, which is very good here, because if it did kill them, I'd have to restart the checkpoint. But basically, we just need to lock them in place and you need to have uh, the proper timing involved too so make sure that you're throwing the holy water uh, about see I threw it too early right there and it cost me uh, it, just co it just cost me time that's all it cost me so when you see her coming down like I said with with the energy sphere she's in drop the holy water that will keep these guys locked in place for enough time to where she'll shoot the electricity so I'm just guarding and uh, just getting impatient right there but see I'm gonna stick close to this vampire and try to see if she'll shoot him and she does it's not that hard it really isn't um, it's hard I mean it's just hard to, to kinda stay alive you know and, and not be able to kill these guys also if you have your shadow magic or the light magic you can have that activated while you're tossing the holy water to protect yourself with your own sphere And pretty much, I mean, that, that that's a good solid strategy because the holy water is going to lock these guys in place and it's not going to outright kill them because it's not really designed to do that. It's designed to stun them. But I imagine if they had like a, mil like a, like a little tiny sliver of red life, it probably could kill them. But as it stands, we're on a very high difficulty, so our attacks aren't... Um, aren't very strong to begin with or sub weapon attacks and also don't do not worry about being a low health for the next fight there's three phases don't worry about coming to the next fight phase of the fight with low health because you'll you'll probably have some shadow mag light magic excuse me which you can just use to restore your health so we've got one guy left to account for and they also might regain their their health just by keep having them being kept alive. I think that's how it works slightly. So I need her to fall, to come down one more time and lock this guy in place. Stand next to him. She'll shoot him. Got got her checkpoint. And now it's us versus the queen who's in this form now. And uh, she's gonna summon a couple of lackeys, but with the holy water you can just simply stun them. Now you can parry that attack, but the attack she does with her right hand is the unblockable and unparryable attack, so you've got to evade it, uh, much like a lot of the other enemies in this game. So toss your holy water and then grab kill them or do this attack. I mean, you, sh you should have ample resources here to do your magic attacks. And this was like the first time ever I've ever fought her where she did this attack. And uh, I just needed to complete the quick time event. So the lackeys aren't bad at all. Just toss a couple holy waters or, or stun them with fairies. And she does have a... Uh, well, I'll talk about it. She, she's, she will do it a couple of times. 
Okay, so this is the first phase completed right here. You need to just complete the quick time events. And now she gets a little bit more aggressive. I think she still has lackeys. But she's going to do this dive bomb attack. It has a huge radius of effect, so just watch out for that. And if she summons bats, just guard against them. You can't get um, damaged if you're guarding. So the reason I got a, got hit right there is because I was uh, evading, not guarding. And just, just you know, if you see, just guard, you don't get damaged. And just always watch out for that one attack because it is just devastatingly. You'll just be dead. I think it's instant death. But if you're at full health, you might be able to survive it. So there's really, I don't think there's any, if you're casting Holy Water or something like that, I don't think you're invulnerable to that or doing something else like that. I, I think you have to, there's only one choice, just flee. And I'm not going to be including all the cutscenes with flying around because I think that's copyrighted property and I, I just don't want to get in trouble. So... I mean, I don't need. I, I can't tell you when to press the the circles in, to, in together. You're just gonna have to to know how to do that by yourself. So I apologize for that, but uh, it's just something I couldn't include. I mean, I don't think I want to conclude out of you know. It's not really. It's it's more of fear than respect. It's just ridiculous. Um, but anyway, in this phase, you're gonna tap a button, a random button, and then you're going to do the the charged punch, which is L2 plus square. 